Hi, and welcome to this short demo on Power PPM, where I will be showing some of the essential features of the platform. We'll begin in the project overview. In here, you get an overview of all the projects and what the current status is on each one of them. You can filter on key information, like for example, the total budget and the current return on investment for this project. Let's go ahead and open up the project. On the left side of this window, I can see who's responsible for the project, who's in the steering group, and the program and portfolio it belongs to. In the center, I have my checklists. As I change the status of these drivers, I can recalculate the scores on the strategic impact. Over to the right, we got an overview of all the scheduled work and a financial summary, which is based on information from the tabs menu right here. If we click on the Schedule tab, I get the option of planning my entire project. Let's start in the board view where we can see our Scrum board. Here we have an overview of the current status of each task. I'll drag Workshop to In Progress as I know that we've already started on that. I also know that our sprint meeting has already been planned, so let's drag that over here. Now I'll click on the grid view. Here I can add more information to each task. For example, who's assigned to the task and how much of the effort has been completed. And then I have the timeline view. This provides me with a graphical overview of where we are with the project, what are the upcoming tasks, and how they all relate to each other. Under financials, I can put in information about the budget for the project. As shown, they're divided into CAPEX and OPEX. Right below, I can see the actual cost to date. And at the bottom, I can see the forecast, which I as a project manager believe will be the outcome of this project. Over to the right, I have a graph that shows the relation between the three. Moving on to the KPI status page, where I can see and manage all my KPIs. For example, I'll upgrade resources from unavailable to at risk. And I add a comment that we have started our communication with the line managers. In the risk section, I have an overview of all my risks related to my project. I have a nice graphical risk matrix that gives me an instant indication of the most and least critical risks. By clicking on the risk inside the matrix, I'm shown the specifics of that risk. And below the matrix, I can see an elaborated view of these details. The weekly status tab gives me the possibility of creating a new weekly status. I'll type in the week number and press save and close. And now I have all the information about the weekly status right here. If I click on one of them, I'll actually get access to a nice PowerPoint presentation that out of the box, show me information about the project status in that particular point in time. So I can basically take this PowerPoint and go directly to the steering committee and show them the status of the project. Let me just put this into presenter mode to give you a chance to see how it looks live. This project obviously belongs to a program. So let's go back to project information where I can find my program. By clicking on it, I'm sent directly to the specific program overview, where I find information such as the program budget and a summary of all the projects belonging to this program. I can also set the overall program health. If I go to portfolio view, I see information related to the portfolio, for example, all the related programs and projects. 
as well as a financial summary of what we set aside for this portfolio. And that defines the end of this quick demo on Power PPM. If you want to learn more about this platform, head over to www.powerppm.net and here you can read more about some of the features and request a 30-day trial. Thanks for watching.